Hi, I'm Dawn Zenker, Tidelands Coordinator with the Georgia 4-H Program here on Jekyll. Welcome to this installment of Thursdays with Camp Jekyll and Tidelands. The theme of this segment is the Great Backyard Bird Count, Tidelands Edition. Now the airing of this winter edition is timely as it coincides with the Great Backyard Bird Count that occurs this weekend on February 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. This event has been taking place since the late 1990s, put on by the Audubon and Cornell's Lab of Ornithology, and it invites participants, citizens, and birders alike to sight birds in their own backyard or areas that might be favorite birding hotspots and record their sightings on Cornell's eBird database. This data provides scientists and researchers and give them a sense of what birding populations are, are looking like uh, and trends over the years. Are there change in birding patterns and whatnot? Are change in migration patterns? Are birds moving or changing their distribution due to warming trends or habitat destruction? for example. Now, Tidelands has been participating in this event alongside our annual Tidelands Art Sale, thanks to Lydia Thompson, who initiated our annual Tidelands Art Sale years ago uh, in an effort to uh, provide support for Tidelands exhibits. Uh, during the event, uh, Lydia round, would round up team birders with the, in conjunction with the Great Backyard Bird Count, and birders would explore birds around the island in various habitats, marshland, shore areas, as well as high ground areas where we would expect to find perching birds. And then the participants would come back and record their sightings with Lydia, as well enjoy uh, our art sale event. Now, due to the pandemic, we won't be holding our inside art sale this year, but we wanted to be able to participate in the birding portion of the event and explore some of our own birds found right here at Tidelands. So let's go on and take a look. Here we are on the southeast corner of the Tidelands Pond our bird viewing platform. I see a bird sitting on the pond here. Some hooded mergansers. There's a pelican flying overhead. A snowy egret in the distance. A cormorant. An anhinga. Now they may be hard to see in my camera view here. So let's see if we can get some close-ups. The bird viewing platform, by the way, includes a binocular viewer that was made possible by a DNR grant um, that was submitted by Corinne Zeely, our program specialist that was here with us at Tidelands for a couple of years. She made a lot of great contributions here including this wonderful bird viewing platform. So let's take a look, see what we can see. we are just stepping north of the Tidelands facility, working our way up the east side of our Tidelands pond, or what we would consider our backyard here on Jekyll. As we work our way up the east side of the pond here, we're going to make our way all the way around the north side and the west side and 
take a look over by the boat ramp area as well, just on the other side of the pond. And we'll see what we can see in the way of birds. If we can't see anything close up, we'll include some still shots so you can get a sense of uh, the species of birds that we see here in our backyard at Tidelands. So let's go take a look. I can see a couple of snowy egrets here just on the edge of what we like to call Osprey Creek. It runs on the north and east side of the Tidelands Pond and actually feeds this brackish water pond. And it looks like a couple of other birds might be coming in just out of view here. Oh, they're flying off. Let's see if we can spot the great egret. He's just out of view there. The great egrets are distinguished, there he goes, from the snowy egrets. They have a orange bill and they're a significantly taller than the snowy egret. Here's a popular feeding area for the birds. We'll often see egrets and ibis, as well as great blue herons hanging around this outflow leading out from the Tidelands Pond up through Osprey Creek. That's the name we've given to the creek that feeds the Tideland Salt Pond. And that'll run up the east side here and along the north side of the pond. Oh, here Kingfisher. Don't think we can spot him, but we'll show you an image in a moment. I see here in my view a Kingfisher. Uh, we spot them here regularly around the Tidelands Pond, often sitting in the trees. They make a very distinct sound. If this one flies off, we may be able to hear it. They are territorial. Um, there he goes. Now, here is the nesting platform on the north side of the pond. Uh, it's in disrepair. That'll be uh, repaired next week by Georgia Power. Hopefully in time for the osprey pair to start using it for this nesting season. They have in the past um, started exploring the nest, coming back to the nest by mid-February. In the last couple of years they really haven't started nesting until March, but we'll start to see them around here soon. Here we see the osprey flying overhead and nesting adjacent to the Tidelands Pond. Another bird of prey we can see around this area is the bald eagle, though they nest elsewhere on the island. It is worth noting that the eagle are nesting in the winter time, and about their time are young are fledging, the osprey are beginning to nest. Here we can see a great blue heron sitting on top of one of the Tidelands fishing docks. The great blue heron is the largest of the wading birds that we'll see here that are in the egret heron and bittern family. They're really quite beautiful, very striking, whether standing on a dock, hiding in the marsh grass, or in flight. In flight, you'll actually see them flying with their neck retracted, uh, just as an egret would in flight. Very easy to spot, and a very distinct sound as well. If you look closely here, you can see two anhingas hanging out in this dead tree. You'll often find anhingas hanging out in the dead tree with their wings spread out as they are drying out their feathers. They do not contain oil on their feathers as many water birds do, but this enables them to dive underwater and stay under for a period of time in order to catch fish. Notice if you can see the anhinga has a very pointy beak. Uh, they're easily mistaken for the cormorant, which we also find on our Tidelands Pond here. 
but they have a notch beak. And generally speaking, cormorants are often found around salt water and anhingas around fresh water. But we do see anhingulus quite regularly around our tidal and salt pond or brackish water pond, as well the marsh areas nearby in general. In the middle of the pond, and there he goes, taken off in flight, just above the water. Well, here I am standing on the southwest corner of the Tidelands Pond. I've spotted a couple of snowy egrets sitting on one of the public fishing docks. If I scan just across the way, I can see our Tidelands facility through the trees there. And I am actually standing at the base of the new osprey platform that was put in a year or two ago. I'll scroll around this way and we'll look way up at that platform. It actually has not been utilized just yet. I think the nesting pair that have been here for quite a while are used to, oh, the snowies are flying off nesting on the platform on the north side of the pond, just in the distance there. I see here a juvenile white ibis foraging on the ground on the west side of the pond, leading up to the boat ramp area. The ibis have a curved beak and use that beach to forage on the ground or in shallow water. They might feed on insects, fish, small crustaceans. Well, here we are just across the parking lot from the west side of Tidelands Pond. This is a creek that leads behind the water park that's just south of Tidelands. But I did want to show you this area. We would expect to see some of the same birds here that we see right on the Tidelands Ponds. And if we look a little further west, the creek opens up into the intracoastal waterway. Here we are at the public boat ramp, located just on the other side of the Tidelands Pond. I see before me here a couple of brown pelicans sitting on the water. We occasionally spot the pelicans on our Tidelands Pond, but we generally see them out here on the waterway. Um, we also, in the wintertime, We'll occasionally see white pelicans. White pelicans are all white, except for their black wingtips. Well, thank you for joining us as we explored birds found in our own backyard here at Tidelands, around the Tidelands Pond. We encourage you to participate in the Great Backyard Bird Count this weekend, or in recording your bird sightings any time of the year. We will provide a link for the Cornell eBirding website so you can record your bird sightings. You might also try the Merlin app or check out some birding brochures to help you identify some of the birds found in your neighborhood. Until next time, happy birding, and we'll see you on our next installment of Thursdays with Camp Jekyll in Tidelands. Don't forget to tune in to Friday Farm Days with Forston tomorrow.